Theory of mind is the ability to understand about the thoughts, feelings, and intentions of others. My reaction to this week's course readings was I've never heard of theory of mind before, but upon further research, I immediately started to make connections to experiences where I noticed um, theory of mind in my students. I really connected to this visual right here where the adult is saying, what are you doing, Denzel? And the child is on the phone, so they can't see each other. And the child says, playing with this. Um, I've experienced things like this many times before where students will make assumptions that we know they're thinking or we know something about their lives that we've never really had a context to before. Um, I'm a third grade teacher and I have experienced this. Theory of mind development is strongly affected by non heritable and environmental factors such as parental practices um, because many of my students come from a lower socioeconomic economic status. Um, they have had experiences with trauma and toxic stress. So I tend to see more impairments in their theory of mind. Um, some of my students will misinterpret social cues, tend to think more negatively, think someone is mad at them if they make a mistake, and have more trouble forming relationships with peers. So here's sort of the development of theory of mind. Um, first, People can have diverse desires. People can have diverse beliefs. People have different beliefs about a situation. Knowledge ignorance. Others might not know if something is true. Contents false belief. People may hold incorrect beliefs about um, the unexpected contents in a familiar container. And hidden emotion. People can display different emotions than they're actually feeling. This is something that typically develops by age four but if there are impairments, it can develop later. So why educators should care about theory of mind. Um, poor level of social understanding can cause peer-related problems. Theory of mind underlies the ability to interact and communicate in accordance with social norms, values, and expectations. Theory of mind deficits may impair students' cognitive understanding of the content being learned. So they might make incorrect inferences and not recognize certain story elements, themes, central lessons. Educators need to be mindful of how to adapt their instruction so all students understand and not just assume that they'll understand. Um, different cultures may form different beliefs than own. So teaching perspectives and the idea that different people may share a different perspective. Students impacted by toxic stress may have a negative perspective and outlook on ideas and themselves. Theory of mind needs to be developed so students can adapt to their social environment and become healthy, functioning individuals. So how does theory of mind um, relate to the name of our course, Trauma and its Impact on Child Development? Um, abused children utilize maladaptive emotional regulation strategies while experiencing stress-causing events. They also have problems in recognizing emotions. This can cause students to misinterpret social cues and emotions causing dysregulation. Students who have experienced toxic stress may have a more negative outlook. This can impact their ability to function in social situations and successfully interact successfully with others, which can lead to many problems later in life. So I teach in a third grade classroom in St. Paul, a very diverse population. Um, so I've noticed that some students tend to believe that everyone thinks the same beliefs as them. Um, they become shocked when someone shares a different belief, something we've been working on. Um, they can't believe when someone doesn't know a fact that they know, they assume, they make assumptions that everybody knows that. Um, I've also noticed in students that I've had with autism, they struggle to recognize sarcasm. So that's something that teachers should definitely be mindful of. And students with trauma tend to misinterpret facial expressions as threatening and can become really dysregulated. So it's important to work on that as well. So because I teach um, a lot of diverse students, I thought this was pretty interesting, um, culture and theory of mind. According to Da et al., children show cultural specific reversals in the development sequence. So here was the sequence we looked at before, and across different cultures, it 
doesn't always develop in the same order. So in the false belief test, a child is asked <clears throat> to predict the action of another person who has incorrect information of a situation while the child has the correct information. Children from the U.S. and China pass the false belief test around age four, whereas children from Hong Kong and Japan pass around age six. These findings imply that cultural practice and experience may impact the emergence of false belief understanding. So it's just important for um, teachers to be mindful that, you know, to be culturally relevant, these may develop in a different order. And here are my references.